what we did, <clears throat> you know, if you want to build a front-end application, modern front-end applications, we need REST APIs. You probably know that I uh, developed a REST API module for PrestaShop. Uh, using this module, you can expose your PrestaShop uh, core functionalities through API. I've just used front-end controllers to build this REST API module. So we built uh, interesting things uh, based on the uh, REST API. One of them uh, is a new storefront, uh, really a new theme based on view storefront technology. Okay, that's all about what we did. And uh, three tiers of architecture. Okay, I'm going to talk a little about web architecture and PWA. Uh, here we have a uh, tra traditional three tier software architecture. Uh, you already know about that. It's about uh, software ar architecture, so it's not specific to web apps but almost all of the traditional web apps fall into this uh, category. Presentation, business logic, uh, or application logic, uh, database, or persistent layer. And uh, what we have in uh, the PrestaShop site, uh, in presentation layer, we have Smarty, JS, which are packaged in uh, themes controllers and the business classes in the application layer and database. Uh, it's like any other MVC application. Uh, for example, if you, uh, you want to uh, register a, as a new user and to press the shop, press the shop will show us a smart form. Uh, when we submit the form, it will be passed to controllers and uh, finally the information will be stored in database. All of the process will be handled by press the shop. Okay, PrestaShop is a monolithic software. Uh, it's included all of the layers in one software one, uh, bundle, uh, which is great. Uh, monolithic software is perfect for most of the small to uh, medium-sized uh, businesses, SMB businesses. Uh, but if they are about to grow, they should not be limited by technology. I believe that nobody needs a supercomputer set up uh, to start selling, and uh, growth is a journey. Okay, uh, multi software has a main characteristic. It's hard to break it down into smaller parts. Okay, you know, uh, uh, if you want to, if you want to uh, tolerate more load on our website, uh, now we should scale up our applications, adding more uh, CPUs, uh, RAM, storage. Uh, but we need to spread it out on uh, different nodes. And finally, a fully uh, distributed and a loosely coupled system. Okay, I don't want to talk about uh, such a scale application, but a good starting point to break the system could be presentation layer. <clears throat> okay, what about headless? Uh, by definition, headless is just separation of backend and uh, frontend. And uh, headless is just a new buzzword. Uh, it's not a technology. We have different types of PWA with different uh, implementations. And the term headless uh, is just referring to a specific type of uh, PWA. First, let's see uh, what is a, a PWA, a little bit uh, about a PWA. Uh, PWA brings native mobile application smoothness into a uh, web world. So uh, this way with PWA, we uh, will get the best of both worlds, being uh, mobile friendly and gaining a web reach, actually gaining the power of uh, the web. Take attention, uh, we are uh, in commerce uh, context, so the PWA must be SEO friendly. Uh, in PWA, we have two main uh, patterns. Uh, that I try to describe each of them. Uh, it's necessary to have a basic understanding, I believe. Uh, usually, SPAs are somehow uh, client side rendered PWAs, CSR uh, PWAs, and MPAs are uh, SSR uh, PWA. And next slide is about uh, CSR and SSR. Okay, I'm talking about uh, client side rendering and uh, server side rendering. 
But what are these important concepts? It's all about the first request, the, the initial request. Actually, how Google crawlers will see our web page that makes uh, the first request uh, very uh, is very crucial uh, for us. Here you see the result uh, of both renderings and how search engine will see our content. Left hand uh, is uh, CSR and right is SSR. Let me explain with a more tangible example. Okay. Let's start with uh, client side approach. Uh, uh, think of you request a page and the page will be loaded on uh, your browser along with a JavaScript application. Then this JavaScript will fetch other data and then uh, will render them and then will put them on uh, the on your screen. And after a while, uh, maybe uh, milliseconds or two seconds. Uh, so the initial version is just like a template. It's, uh, it's an empty content. So we call this uh, template app show. Uh, but in server-side approach, uh, on the right side of the image, uh, the application will be completely rendered on the server. So uh, when we call a, a web page, uh, when we visit a web page for the first time, we will get a complete rendered uh, HTML. You see, the JS application needs to be run on a server. It's a big difference with uh, client-side rendering approach. In uh, PrestaShop, our runtime uh, environment is PHP, but we need uh, not just uh, runtime to run our application. Just a quick note, uh, it's just like the way PrestaShop does it by default. PrestaShop renders TPL pages, uh, which we call it classic SSR service rendering. Uh, but here, uh, our Node.js uh, application, Node.js server, will render uh, pages. OK. We have some existing modules on uh, PrestaShop add-ons. You know there are some uh, PWAs modules on add-ons. But most of them use uh, CSR approach, client-side rendering approach to load pages and to give uh, smoothness. Uh, CSR is a good uh, option for panels and dashboards, uh, but in PrestaShop context, we need uh, in uh, PrestaShop and e-commerce context, we need uh, web pages to be rendered on a uh, server. Yeah, uh, now you can uh, guess how we decoupled uh, backend from uh, front and from backend, but how the not just application we communicate with our uh, backend. Uh, through an API, I already uh, mentioned. Uh, through the API, uh, you can connect any front end to website. This way, front end has been decoupled completely from your uh, back end. What about benefits? Uh, let's check two major uh, MPA or uh, SSR rendered PWA uh, benefits. Simply, the first benefit of a uh, CSR PWA is that it, it brings smoothness to your website while remaining SEO friendly. You will have PWA features in addition to the modern, modern tool set to manage your front end. And second benefit could be a new way to add a level of scalability to your uh, platform. And uh, final word this project. This project uh, aims to show that if you choose PrestaShop, your growth it will be not uh, limited, at least in terms of uh, front-end options. Uh, PrestaShop is a, a lightweight solution, and there are uh, good APIs around it. So literally, you can connect anything to it. And uh, that is all. Thank you.